Hello my friend, happy to see you here and really interesting tricky problem for you today. Okay, okay, we have minus one to the x equal to minus one. And a lot of students say that, okay, x equal to one, this is this is our root and okay, this is answer x equal to one. But if you look closely to this problem, I like this tricky problem very much because we can like practice our complex number, our, our really interesting tricks right here. And I'm going to show you how can we do this. First of all, x equal to 1 will be a solution. That is, we all know that we have the same element, so x equal to 1 will be our solution. But what about all solution? Maybe we'll have complex roots, maybe we'll have like real number root. Let's check it real quick. So I'm going to show you the first really interesting method. The first method including logarithm here. So if you know a little bit about log and we need to know two really interesting thing. The first thing that i equal to square root of minus 1, we need to know it. If you're talking about complex number and i square equal to minus 1. So we need to know these two, two things at first. And let's try to solve it. Okay, we have minus 1 and right here we have minus 1. So we can easily change this minus 1 by i square. Let's do this. We'll have i square to the power x equal to minus 1. Okay, I just change this minus one as i square, and let's go. Let's go next. We need to know a really interesting rule that minus one, if we're talking about complex number, minus one equal to e to the power i times pi, and we need to know error coefficient because we this is a trigonometrical form writing a complex number. So this is equal to cosine pi plus i times sine pi, and as a result, right here minus one right here 0 plus 0 equal to minus 1. So we need to know this form. We need to know, we need to learn about this form. So as a result what we will have? Instead of this minus 1 we write this form trigonometrical form. So we have e to the power square raised to the power x. This is our left hand side. And on the right we will have this one. e to the power i times I can, I can write it as a period because I, I want to know all solutions. So pi plus 2k pi. Okay, I write this period because I want to know all, all solution right here. K is z, okay? Let's 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 check it right here. Okay, we have this expression, and right now we have pi and we have pi. You can easily factor it. So this pi right here, we will have i square to the power x equal to e times i pi. In the parentheses, we will have 2k, 2k plus 1. So I hope you understand this step. And right here, this is like a constant, this is a constant, this is pi, we know it, this is i, this is k, and right here, this is our x. So we can easily find our x from this equation. Natural log on both sides, we will have natural log i to the power 2x, we can easily multiply it because this is a power rule, equal to e to the power i pi, in parentheses 2k plus 1, and of course, natural log. We need to take natural log on both sides, right here and right here. This 2x goes right here real quick because this is a main log property. So 2x times natural log i equal to right here the same. This goes right here. So i pi in parentheses 2k plus 1 and times natural log e, which is equal to 1. So we can easily right now cancel this. So we have this expression. I want to rewrite it real quick. So we will have 2x times natural log i equal to i pi in parentheses 2k plus 1. Yeah, we have this, we have this expression. What we're going to do next? Let's find our x. How can we do this? Dividing by this and by this, and as a result, this is our numerator. I want to leave it right here. This is our numerator as a result. So x equal to i pi in parentheses 2k plus 1, and we divided it by 2 natural log i. So this is our answer. But moreover, if you know a little bit about complex number, we can easily cancel this expression i pi over 2 with this one. So we can easily cancel this and as a result we will have 2k plus 1. 2k plus 1 and k is z. Okay, we have our answer. 2k plus 1, this is our answer. But a lot of students maybe say that okay we know it, we know it from school, but of course I want to show it with the complex number side. So from this side how can we find this 2k plus 1? Because 2k plus 1 this is an odd number, yeah? So if we prove in, in, in another way, so if we go with for example let's do this, we'll have for example even number, yeah? If we have even number, what we'll have if number was will be even, so x equal to to n, yeah, this is even number. Every time this is even number. So minus one to the power two n equal to minus one. Let's check it real quick. 
So minus 1 to the power 2n, this is equal to minus 1 square, which is equal to 1 to the power n equal to equal to minus 1 or doesn't matter with this n because 1 doesn't equal to minus 1. So if even now, if this is even number, so we will have no solution right here, no solutions. If it number is even number, but let's go next. If number is odd, how can we prove this? And of course we prove our solution right here. So if number is odd, x equal to 2n plus 1, this is an odd number. So we will have minus 1 to the power 2n plus 1 we will have minus 1 to the power 2n and times minus 1 to the power 1, yeah? So we will have minus 1 right here square and raise to the power n times minus 1, which is equal to 1 to the power n times minus 1 and if this is equal to minus 1. So as a result, as you can see, if number is odd, we can, we can solve it, we will find our solution and moreover, using this log, log method and using complex number we prove that our answer is our answer is the next one so 2k plus 1 when k is from the set of whole numbers so x equal to 2k plus 1 and what about the zero maybe a lot of students ask me about zero we need to write with, with zero what we will have if we have zero so we will have minus 1 to the power 0 equal to 1 but in our case we have minus 1. So this is only a solution to this <coughs> to this problem. Of course we can write it is with this right hand side, you don't need this one, but I want to show you because this is really interesting knowing complex number and how can we find this answer because as you can see this answer goes not from here but from here. Knowing a complex number we find we find our answer. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, write any comment. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much for watching, subscribing. And of course, I try to find different problem, problem from internet because, for example, we will have equation like 2 to the power x equal to like 8 to the power x plus 2. So something like that, for example, we will have, so for example, 8 to the power x equal to 2 to the power x plus 1. Yeah, so we all know how to solve it. We all know how to solve this equation using natural log or, or different different log right here. But in this channel, I want to show you a really interesting, like from different books, tricky problems. So as you can see, minus 1 to the x equal to minus 1. It looks like different than this one because we don't prefer like to see minus right here, we don't prefer minus 1 to the x, it's, it's completely different and I hope you you enjoyed this video. If you do, please leave a like, write that you, you need this video, it's, it's really important and it, it helps me a lot to find really interesting tricky math math problems. So not like this traditional problem, you can solve it, you can see on different books and different like uh, internet resources, but this one is really interesting, so I hope you enjoy it. Thank you and have a great day. See you in the next videos.